Hello, and welcome back to Forge by Geeks. So today we decided to try our hand at a different legacy game. We kind of like these legacy game things. Uh, this came recommended of Jeremy, who will be joining us. Uh, this is Aeon's End Legacy. So we've never played the original Aeon's End, but it sounds like it's a weird, like, Dominion, Thunderstone, but more pure co-op, which is right up our alley. So we're going to be learning how to play it right now, too. So... As always, feel free to leave comments and let us know where we fuck things up. And otherwise, I think we're pretty good to go. So I'm Anthony. Nicole. Got Jeremy hanging out over there. And then hey. got the Vulcan Peter. How do you know what I'm going to do every day? I don't know. It's it's like it's a habit. <laughs> I think it's self-reinforcing because after you say it, he's got to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. True. Ah, fair point. Yeah. Do you want to change up uh, that you're not the Vulcan anymore? Yeah, mix no, it up. but if I could figure out some hand signal that said Star Wars instead of Star Trek one day, Ooh. I'd try to fool you out. Yeah, yeah. But all I can really think of is uh, May the Force Be With You, which isn't a hand signal. So yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, speaking of Star Trek, did you see the uh, Picard trailer? Um, I haven't seen the trailer, but I've seen the news article. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I can't wait for that. Okay, Isn't well, there that gesture like this? The the hand gesture? Oh, yeah. The, the, mm, yeah. The, the Jedi mind trick? The Jedi trick mind trick? trick. Yes. Yeah. Something like that could work, but I don't know how it would go on screen. That's not quite the same. Well, yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> it's a little I'll blurry. It's like they're what you're wiping their mind. But isn't this more like the be seeing you gesture from Prisoner? I be know. seeing you. Uh, well, either way, we will get started with this. So we've got the prologue right I, I here. I knew what you were talking about. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I got that one. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. Um, I'm thinking you've never seen The Prisoner. No. Okay. Um, you are not breach mages yet, Brahma lectures as she paces down the line of students, her frail form belying her immense power. Breach mages have protected us since the beginning, since the burning of the world and our pilgrimage into the dark. It was they who founded Gravehold, our last bastion. And if you wish to stand beside these living legends, you must listen and learn. The Nameless shall come again, as they always have, and you will need to be ready. You are the hope of our future, God help them. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they haven't seen us play Gloomhaven. So where are all these Nameless coming from? Well, it's a long game, maybe we'll find out. Yeah. As a young apprentice, you grew up to stories of the Breach Mages. Brahma, the teacher, the wisest of the mages. Does Modia, the prodigy, master of great magic, mist, the stoic leader and tactical genius. Malastar, the magical craftsman, rebellious, powerful, and reckless, pretty much sum up Zaxos. Something like that. Uh, these mages are your heroes, and tomorrow, after your ordeal, you will join their ranks. Probably not tomorrow. Well, we'll see. <laughs> um, each of you must overcome your ordeal to learn discipline and focus, the tools you will need to defend Gravehold. We are nothing without Gravehold. To be able to be a breach mage is to sacrifice your life for Gravehold. When you die, it will be in defense of our city. I noticed an assumption there. Yeah. <laughs> um, once you understand this universal truth, only then will you be ready to become a breach mage. So I'll pass this back to our rules Thank lawyer. Thank you. All right. And I think the next thing to do is look at the top of the legacy deck. Are we supposed to start there? Um, so first we had to do setup, right. which all happened before we look at that. Mm -hmm. So final part of setup is we had to do this. Place the assist deck. We've got that. Draw the top card of the nemesis deck and place it into play. Right. I feel like there was some more stories somewhere. Okay, all right. Um, so the Nemesis deck? Because uh, there's, there's, there's certainly more story. Oh, there will uh, be what more. Is, what does the top of the uh, Legacy deck say? Stop uh, until... Well, yes, but it told me to do all that before doing that. With this. It just wanted me to place that into play. Okay. Um, yes. Okay, so now that's in play. We have a mm. Doom Crawler, Persistent. Any player suffers one damage. And now we do the last part, mm -hmm. which is open the deck with that is labeled Stop L, which okay. I've got right over here. Right. This is a legacy deck. It contains cards that will describe what happens over the course, yada, yada, yada. Do not shuffle. I will have to avoid that. Do not uh, shuffle. At the start of the game, read the prologue on page one, then read the first card of the legacy deck. Okay. So that was the stop card. And now the first card of the legacy deck. Oh, boy. There's going to be four of these story cards. Um, on the morning of your ordeal, you awake to your barracks door slamming open. Brahma and Mist enter, lifting a wounded breach maid, Zoxos, 
from a stretcher to one of the empty beds. You arrogant fool, Brahma chides. Saxo clutches his injured side. We need the power, he groans. I didn't know. You have doomed us all, Miss Snaps, pressing two fingers against her temple, trying to concentrate. Sarah's on mine. Um... <laughs> Outside, alarm bells ring as an earthquake shakes the very foundation of the building. In the distance, you hear explosions. Miss looks grave. It is here. Zoxos, face white, face white with terror, moans, "No." Um. Oh. Okay, so yeah. It's, it said to keep going. Yeah. Uh, Brahma and Miss leave Zoxos as they rush to defend Gravehold, and you follow, knowing you must do whatever you can to help. You emerge into chaos. Gravehold is burning with screams filling the air. Above you, a breach swirls, the largest you have ever seen, expelling a colossal orb of blades. Fireballs pelt the nameless, but its minions are plentiful. You can only watch as one mage is torn to pieces by a bladed warrior. As the flames push back the darkness, you see a hulking form... Uh, you see the hulking form of your foe descending, surrounded by the by its ruthless army. Brahma staggers away from the fray, coughing and cradling a freshly wounded arm. Desmodia and Malastar are holding the line, but we are overwhelmed. You have much to learn, but there is no time to spare. Gather your wits and hold off these creatures however you can. Focus on the minions to protect the breach mages. You must work together. Give them the openings they need and let us focus on the nameless. Each of you are a link in the chain. Do not break. Read Mailstorm setup instructions, which we already did. Um, then fight Mailstorm and save Gravehold. At the end of your game versus Mailstorm, if you won, read the back of this card. If you lost, read the front of L4. Okay. All right. So here's our first two discards. All right, and where are we putting these? I don't know where the box went. There was a spot in the box. Oh, okay. Um, but you can just set there. them on the table for now. It's I'll, there. Okay. The right, I'll the set them table. right here. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so I think we're generally good. So there's <clears throat> something on the bottom of the card, the setup card. Oh, yes. That's the actual... There's something on the bottom of the setup card. Oh, on the bottom? Yes. Oh, um, thank you. More story. We don't know where Maelstrom came from or how it traveled to this place, but it was drawn in by an experiment conducted by the breach mage Zaxos, who was seeking to learn more about the nature of our breaches. Asshole. Mm -hmm. um, we have never before seen a nameless as large or as powerful as this one. Its spinning blades are heavy enough to crush buildings in one blow, and it fights with an army of deadly minions. If it is allowed to reach Gravehold, I fear we are all doomed. Okay. And then we have a minion already out. Um, yeah, which he would have spawned as part of right. his And set. what is it? It is a Doom Crawler. Persistent, any player suffers one damage. So it looks like we get to choose. Right. Yeah, Persistent happens on each um, on each uh, villain turn, I believe. Okay, when does the villain turn happen? It's in the turn order deck. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. Um, additional rules. <clears throat> so, he has Unleash, Graveholt suffers three damage. Um, when assistant, when assist resolves, draw the top card of the assist deck and resolve it. Then place it in the assist discard pile. This is not the same as the Nemesis discard pile. Right. When the game ends, resolve the last card in the assist deck. If able, then continue reading the final.